Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Isle of Arrows. Been a while since we played this, but I thought with the snowy themed mountain, and since I'm probably going to be in the mountains when this comes out snowboarding, uh, I figured let's get back into it. Now, last time we didn't quite finish the burning embers, so we're going to head back there. We've got to get to wave 40. And that was with the cannoneers last time. That was that was hard work, I'm not going to lie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be the founders. Play it simple. Oh, look at this. Look, we got a fire blast tower coming up next. Okay, so to start off, we're going to place this path. Uh, I think we'll place it there so we can place the tower in there next time. So if you've never played this before, basically it's like a tower defense game, but with cards. So when you start your wave, we've got our tower here. That is an arrow tower and it just annihilated that little person. That's nice, isn't it? Anyway, this fire blast tower, this damages all enemies in an area. Oh, nice. So we'll shove that in there. Oh, look. Okay. So as we rotate this one, I'll tell you what then might be worth going there instead and then make this path wrap around or something. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. So we'll place that there yeah, and basically when we start a wave we get these enemies oh man they proper got burnt did you see that um for each one we kill we get coins and every so often we get bonus cards like these uh, so we can take more materials so that's a bridge which allows you to build like off land that's a bomb which allows you to replace a building essentially uh four coins or randomly spawn two fire traps yeah let's do that and the other thing we got to do in this game we make the path longer so enemies currently spawn on the pink at the end of the path so if i grab this path and place it like that and now they're going to be spawning back there, which means when we start the next wave, they have to run even further. Uh, but they didn't make it through my fire blast tower area. Oh, do you know what's really annoying? I've just noticed where the fire traps spawned. They're there. What are they doing up there? <laughs> okay, I feel like we might have to wrap our path all the way up there. Oh, that's a long way. That's annoying. Anyway, our current card is a storehouse when adjacent to two towers draw bonus cards okay that's cool so i should probably just shove that like behind something for now so we're adjacent to that one if i can shove like a tower there we should be good so place that there uh, we start another wave those guys are getting burnt oh that's a big one with a baseball bat he didn't last long though so we've got a pointy flag next and all flags give us extra land the shape of the flag gives us different shaped land plots. Uh, so the pointy one, it's sort of it's sort of pointy looking. Now, the thing to remember with this is you can only place it adjacent to like buildings you already have. So I can't place that there. Can you see that's red? But I can place it there. It goes green because we're touching a path. And also you might notice I can place these like on top of nothing. Can you see it uses up one of my bridges? Uh, so generally that's quite a good thing to do with the with those because then you get loads more land back. I might actually do that, you know, place that there. So we're down to one bridge and two bombs. But look, we've got eight coins and we get one coin every single round. So as these enemies get killed, nice. We're wave completed. We've got nine coins. Now you may notice down here, there is an option to get the next card for two coins. I haven't been doing that because the more money you save, the more coins you get per round. So once we get 10 coins in the bank, we'll be getting plus two rather than plus one every round. Um, oh, and up here, we have a treasure chest. Place any tile on top to collect. Okay, I will. All right, so we've got a path piece. That's not really going to work very well over there. I think we're just going to extend our path up to there and then try and come back maybe. So we'll place that there. Start the wave. Hope we take out these guys. Yes. Oh, that tower's so good. And look, now we've got 10 coins. We're going to get plus two every round. Just like I said, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. So we have an ice trap here with a bit of water. So ice traps slow people down. Generally, they're best to go like in a corner. Maybe this one I could shove there knowing that I'm going to wrap my path around. Um, but they're only worthwhile if, if there's other towers hitting them. And the archer tower does that one. Yeah, so maybe in there's best. The trouble is we do Punk some water there, which is not ideal. Um, but we can demolish that with one of our bombs. So yeah, let's place that there. So now rather randomly, they're going to be getting burnt by this, but also frozen by the ice trap. But let's see what happens. I imagine they should just slow down. Yeah, and then they get they get burnt a bit more often. Decent. Take him out, take him out. Oh, that was close. That was a little bit close. Uh, plus two coins, so we're up to 12 coins. Basically, you want to save your coins until you get about 40 coins, because then you get them plus four every time. Um, and I don't think it goes any higher than that. All right, so we've got a path piece, which is ideal deal for this actually because that can go there place we can then beat the next wave which is a load of normal people and some with bats but they didn't last long and we get some bonus cards now we can spawn two high grounds so they make like towers have a bigger range they're probably going to be random so much that it won't actually help now we can restore a heart we haven't lost any of those yet because no one's got to the end so we've still got 10 which is the max or your next two tile refreshes cost zero so i can skip tiles without 
without using coins. Yeah, I'm going to take that, I think. So arrow tower, we will take that and shove it there because we get a nice load of tiles surrounded. Place. Uh, then we can take the flag. And tell you what, I might just shove that on the treasure chest to, uh, to not only fill in those gaps, but to see what the treasure chest is. So place that there. Oh, we got three bombs. That is lovely. Oh, and look, a vantage point, some high ground. That is good. And then afterwards, we have a path. Now, what I'm thinking, if I do a corner, a corner, and a corner, then perhaps I can take this path down there and straight. Or is it better to go across? The oh, I don't know. I don't actually know. Yeah, let's go do Let's go down that way. So place. Um, oh, coming up afterwards, it's a fire pit as well. It equips all adjacent arrow towers with flaming arrows that deal bonus damage. Oh, that will work perfectly in that gap because we got arrow tower there and there. So first off, let's complete this wave. Yeah, they're getting pretty much. There's a big person at the front, though. Take him down quick. Oh, that was close. Oh, it is quite close at the start. Uh, so fire pit, that wants to go in the middle. And, uh, ideally, I'll place another arrow tower on that bit of water there. But place those. These now do bonus burning damage. Um, and we're starting the wave. So, oh, yeah, look at those. They're doing so much damage. Whoa. Okay, that's actually really, really good. We are pretty powerful now. Um, and a couple of things have just happened. We've got 20 coins, which means we're going to get plus three every round. But we have arrived at the black market, which means we can spend coins on various things. And generally, it is worth doing because you don't come across the black market too often. So I think I'll definitely take the corner path and shove that there. I should probably grab a straight so we're ready. Ready. So that's going to go there. And then bridges and bombs, they're always useful. So I have just bought them. I didn't actually mean to buy them. I meant to click to see. <laughs> oh, well, we spent four coins. Um, so we've got 12 remaining. So let's just continue and place down this arrow tower. And as much as I'd love to put it in there, that will get rid of the... Can you see that underneath? That's the frozen tower. That will get rid of that. So I have to wait for an arrow tower that's just on its own without water. Um, I think for now, they will just shove it there. That will do. Place. And then we'll take down the next wave. Oh, there's a fast Viking guy at the start. Take him down. Thankfully, we did take him down. So that's wave complete. We got two coins. We're up to 14 again. Oh, and we got a corner. That is very handy. So we'll rotate and shove that there. Take down the next wave, which has another very fast Viking. Why are you so fast? Take him down. <laughs> and there's a shield guy, although he has just lost his shield. Um, oh, and we get some bonus cards. Now, I think I might take the next two tile refreshes cost zero again. That was decent. Although I am a man of bridges. Could always do with more bridges in my life. Still, pretty Provisions it is. And first off, we have a fishing hut. So we gain two coins for each adjacent water tile. So perhaps I will just place that up there because that's a cheeky two coins. Place. Then next up, we've got a path, which is the perfect piece to extend the end of it from there all the way over to there. And that makes our two fire traps actually do something now. Yeah, and then we have a flag. So perhaps I'll place that there just because I'm thinking about wrapping this path back around to make the most out of these fire towers. Anyway, wave 13. Take them down. Oh, Oh, look, they're on fire straight away, uh, which really helped, to be fair. Uh, next up, we have an ice trap with water. Not ideal that it's got water, but I reckon if we were to shove that there, I mean, that's an extra bit of slow. And it covers two towers, the fire trap and the arrow one. So yeah, that would do. Start the next wave. We should be able to take these down fairly easily. We are getting stronger every round. And uh, 21 coins are on at the moment. So we get plus three. We're up to 24. Oh, we got another fishing hut. So we'll shove that at the back there because that is two easy coins. Start the next wave where we've got shield, guys. We've got two Vikings. Okay, two is is quite scary. No, we're good. We're good. And look, because we're up to 30 coins, we're getting plus four every single time now. Um, oh, and we discovered a cursed relic. So we can either take the relic and lose two hearts, but we get like a bonus. Or we can sell it and just gain two coins. I am a bit of a gambler in this game. So we're going to be taking the relic. Immediately draw bonus cards twice. Decent. Uh, so I should probably restore one of those hearts. That makes sense. And then... <laughs> I could restore it again, which makes it completely pointless, but probably best to extend the aisle. There you go. A bit more land dotted about, which means there's a bit more space for my new arrow tower. So let's grab that and perhaps shove it. I don't know if adding water after the fisherman's hut actually gives us an extra two coins. Probably not, but uh, let's find out. Let's place that. Oh, it does. Decent. So this guy is now fishing like out the front and out the back. Anyway, we'll start the next wave. This is wave 16. That early burn is actually really useful. It means by the time they get back here, they're like already pretty much gone. Uh, all right. So we have a corner piece of 
path. Now, the trouble with this is we can't actually place that in there because you can't place, like, again, you can't block yourself in. So, I uh, may have shot myself in the foot a bit with this one because uh, obviously I can't place it up there because there's no adjacent tiles. I sort of want to wrap around. I mean, I guess I want to end up like down in that corner so I could place there prepping for the future, but not ideal. Uh, the arched path is up next. So that can be placed on top of other tiles without using up a bomb. So always good. We do have six bombs though, so not end of the world. Anyway, wave 17. Take him down. Oh, these. This looks like a strong wave. This is a strong wave. Take him down. Take him. Oh, that was close. Right. Anyway, we're up to 41 coins, which means going to get plus four every single round. Um, so I can I can probably start spending now. Uh, first off, we've got to place this arch path. Now, do I go there or is it actually better to go there and maybe try and head around so we use this ranged area? I think that might be best. So I'm going to place that on top of that. I'm going to start the next wave and we're going to hope we can take them down. There's some big boys at the front. The big brothers. Take them down. There we go. Ah, oh, just when we were getting comfortable, another tower has spawned and another enemy spawning thing. So now we've got to not only defend this, but try and defend this one as well. Uh, first off, we have a pointy flag. So is that a hole in the ground? What is that? Is that meant to be a hole or is that not a hole? What does... Okay, so that is a hole. I mean, I sort of want to place that because I feel like I've just made the strongest shape. I mean, if you're not seeing the strongest shape there, then what you might be seeing is the return of cow gang. Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. Anyway, place. And then I'm going to spend two coins to get this path early because I want to grab that. I think I want to shove it there and then try and wrap around like that. So place that, start the next wave. And did you see over there? There was one enemy spawn, but he's now gone. Meanwhile, this one gets stronger and stronger. We've got the bald bearded dudes. Never mess with those. Anyway, he's now down and we get four coins. So straight path and water. I'm thinking it might be best to go there. Get that one in. Start wave 20. There's two enemies. Oh, that was so close to losing us our life over there. We need an extra tower to go over that side uh, or to extend this path to wrap around perhaps. Uh, meanwhile, bearded dude is down. There we go. Oh, we found a relic. Um, so we can gain four hearts, but we have the max number of hearts. So that's pointless. The other one, reservoir. Cards containing water tiles can be skipped for free. Decent. So first off, we have the geyser tower or the geyser tower if you're British. White geyser. Anyway, this shoots darts of hot water and it increases range if it's adjacent to water tiles. So let's have a look how that works. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, in there would actually be really good. It will cost me a bomb, but we'll get three hits. And not only that, two of them are going to be on the frozen enemies as well, which would be even better. And I could put one there and try and wrap this path around, perhaps. And I should probably look as well. Coming up next, we have a corner and water. Can we use that anywhere to help the geyser tower? No, I felt like that's my best bet. So we'll place that there. And this corner piece, we will spend two coins getting that unlocked. And then I should probably extend this path by one. So I'll place that there. Uh, we've then got a garden, which just gains us a coin when it's placed. So you may as well place it somewhere, like away from everything. We'll do that. Uh, then we have a flag. I might place that there with one bridge, uh, just because that covers a huge area. Or maybe would there be better? I feel like that's actually more sensible, because then I can wrap around. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that's a bridge, but it's done. Look at all the land we have. Now, then we've got a straight and a bend. May as well take that and then plop that there, ready to link all this up. So place. Oh, and then we have a fire trap. Okay, I'm going to spend two more coins on that and I might shove that in there. Because then they're going to be getting burnt all the way around there. Or do I add it to this one? Now, nah, sorry, I'm going for this one. So place there using a bomb and then start the wave. I feel like we might lose a life up here. Oh, no, we're good. So can we take these guys down? There's a load of bald bearded men, but uh, one's down. Is the other one going to get down? Take him down. Take him down. Oh, that was so close. So next up, we have straight and water. I tell you what, I'm going to shove that up this way because that gives us two coins thanks to him. So boosh, we're up to 50 coins. And then going to hit next for two coins and place the geyser tower down. I tell you what, whilst that's sort of good because we get the, the extra range, I feel like there's probably better, especially if I can get another water around that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go there for this one. So place that. That strengthens up this this run as well. And we'll start the next wave. We'll see our geyser tower working. Beautiful. And over this side, we've got a Viking. Got an axe, guys. Pretty fast. Blimey, now that was close. All right, so we got some bonus cards. So add two ice traps to random paths. I think that's probably the thing to do. Oh, look around there. <laughs> frozen central. Um, and there's another frozen one there as well. So enemies will slow down, meaning we're doing more damage. Uh, let's grab this flag. And I could use this to add more water to that geyser. So it'll fill in the land around there, which isn't too useful. But I'm 
just using this for the water mainly. So that's that done. Now, if we click on this, look at the range of that. So we're going to be hitting three up there, one down there. Well, and two down there once we get that corner piece in. Oh, and I'll tell you what, look at the next piece. It's a corner and water. So if I rotate and shove that in there, that fits perfectly and will make this geyser tower even more powerful. So let's do that and then check out the range. Oh man, so it hits three down this side, three up there. I mean, it would do another one if we could get round. Uh, we may be able to wrap this path around and get another hit. Yeah, next one is a market square. This allows you to enter the black market as soon as it's surrounded. Oh, I'll tell you what then. I'm going to shove that in that gap. So place and then we're in the black market. We've got money to burn. We've got 53 coins. So we'll take the straight bit of path. We'll shove that in that hole. We'll then take this corner piece and shove it in there. And then we'll buy some bombs and bridges. And then I think we're probably good to continue. So start wave 23. This side is now very strong. This side, look how much we've extended it. I imagine enemies won't get very far this time. Right, we have a straight. I should probably shove the straight up there to extend this one. So place. Oh, and then the next tower is a cluster tower. I have never seen one of these before. Gains damage for each other connected cluster. Oh, that's why it's called cluster tower. Okay. So wherever you shove these, you sort of want them like in a line. Let's buy it and see what sort of... Okay, so it just does normal area. Although up there does massive area. Because yeah, that's the that's the high bit of land. Depends how depends how common we think those these will be. Yeah, so let's shove it in there. And then the next one can go up there. Should we get another one? Not convinced we will. But um, 47 coins. Let's buy another one. So that is perfect to send this road back up. And the next card is called Arsenal. Spurs fans won't like this. When adjacent to three water tiles, gain an arrow tower and a cannon tower. Oh, okay. That's pretty decent. If we can, can we surround it with water anywhere? I mean, like in there could work because we got that one and that one. We'll just need to try and get water there. Anyway, let's start the wave and see how we get on. I'm scared of this one. That is a guy with a bat. He's down though. This side so strong right now. The beardy baldies don't stand a chance. Yeah, and we're ready to place the arsenal down. So yeah, I am going to shove that in there. Game like sort of said, Matt, put it in there, mate. Okay, let's place that. Uh, then we have a pointy flag and then a path. I don't really, I don't really care for the pointy flag at the moment. Not gonna lie. Um, might shove it there though, just so we get some land up that end. So place and then straight bit of path can go there. Uh, next up the ice trap. It's got water behind it. So if we skip to that, this is an ideal ice trap placement, but it does give us the water for the arsenal to so place that. Now we have the arrow tower and the cannon tower. Can I take both? So cannon tower does 2.5. Uh, but it, it damages in an area, whereas the arrow tower does one. Uh, but if you remember on my map, I have the perfect spot for an arrow tower in there because we've got the flame thing, which makes it a fire arrow tower. I don't know if I can take both or not. Right, so arrow tower, let's place it in there with a bomb. Yes, I do get the cannon tower as well. Okay, so cannon tower, I reckon will go up here. So we'll start the next wave. Cannon tower did a bit of damage to those guys. Yep, they didn't make it. And of course, this side, no worries. So we're back into the black market. Let's buy everything we need. So corner path, you go there. Straight path, you go next to it. Buy those materials and then continue. So I'm going to do a straight down there. Complete the next wave. Oh, the cannon tower is decent. We took out all those troops apart from the tall guy. But don't worry, he is down. Oh, that was close. Oh, I nearly got a bit cocky there. And then there was none. All right, so arrow tower and water might be worth shoving that in there. I, I should probably shove it up the top, to be honest. Yeah, we'll do that. That's going to be three, three hits with that. Decent. Next up, we have ooh, a large flag. Oh, wow, that is large. That is large. Tell you what, then, I might do that just to give us loads of option up there. And this corner piece can go down there so we can bring this one back. Then I got a strip down the middle to add more like towers and stuff. Yeah, another market square. I'll tell you what then, I'm just going to shove that on the old one because then I get to go straight to the black market again. Decent. So we want a straight bit of path there, then a corner and the materials and then start the next wave. Man, we are surviving so well. Like that's down. These guys are like pretty much gone by the time they get through the flames. Although we do have the bubble bros, they have a bubble shield which does protect them. Well, until they get into the flames. Oh, no. Okay, so now we have another blooming tower to protect. Because uh, that's what we're doing in this. We're trying to protect these jemmy things. It holds the engineering secrets. Uh, anyway, we've got an arrow tower with water. Could I shove that? Oh, what the hell? So that look... Yeah, they look different. Can you see that one there and that one there? That one's got like triangles in it, which technically should make it better, but apparently it doesn't increase the area, whereas this one does. Anyway, I'm going to shove it in that one just to make sure this is 
covered. Or do I make this one stronger? I'll tell you what, I'm going to go there, actually. And we'll start the next wave. Easily complete the next wave. And then we've got a big old bit of path to place down. All right, I'll tell you what, I could do that and then try and link these together. Because then we're going to be close to this bit. Maybe if I do it like that. Because then we can get, like, double towers going on. No, they're going to be too close. They're going to be too close. I'll tell you what, I'll just do that, I think. Uh, next up, workshop. Got to be next to two waters. Get a path tile. Probably worth it, actually. I'm going to shove that in there. Swap a bomb for um, path tiles. So we want to shove that there. Uh, next up, there's an arch path. So I'm going to... Oh, we're going to shove this over the water. We've made a bridge. No, there's not going to be a bridge review. Sorry, everyone. I've already bridge reviewed one of those on this game. Uh, then we'll start the next wave. Watch everyone burn in the fire down here. And then be very surprised that a genie has granted you a wish. So don't want four coins or a path tile of my choice. I think path tile, to be honest. So we'll take that. We'll take... I think a straight and then shove the straight there. Well, actually, actually, no. Let's do the corner. I feel like the corner because that actually extends it now, which is always a good thing. Uh, the flag can go there for a bridge. I mean, that's actually pretty good because then we can bring the path back around uh, to get those arrow towers in. Yeah, let's let's do that. So then we have an ice trap. Could be worth putting those between these uh, to get a bit of double hitage going on. So we'll do that. Uh, fishing hut gets us two coins if it's next to water. So I might shove it there. Swap a bomb for six coins. Sounds like a good deal. Oh, look, then we got a cluster tower. Oh my goodness, what is that? It's like a double cluster tower. I tell you what, if I were to shove that there and then get this path around, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six hits. I mean, I would shove it there for like four hits. That's not worth it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna shove it. I'm gonna shove it up here. I'm gonna need a lot of path to finish that, but I think it'll be good. So we got a straight path to go in that gap. Oh, thank you. And it's the right orientation to go there. Lovely. Then we have flag and water. And because it's got water, we can skip, which I think I'm going to do. And we've got normal corner, which can go there. But looking next, we have corner with water. So I could shove that there with a bridge for the water. Me no, actually, actually, I've got this. I got this. Stick to your gut instinct. So that one goes there. This other one is going to go down there like that. Now, then we have flag and straight bit of road, which could be very useful, like there, to be honest. Or there. Yeah, I'm going to go there instead, actually. Uh, then we'll start the next wave. So that one's fine. This one is going to get a bit dangerous now. We've only got two towers, really, until we extend that path. That big guy's getting close. Oh, it's all good, though. Anyway, he's now getting burnt and frozen at the same time. Chill blains for you, mate. And we've unlocked an arrow tower and a bit of water. So I think I'll shove that in there because that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So to be honest, it'll do the same there. Yeah, sod it. I'll shove it out. Next, plonk a garden down. That could just go over there for a cheeky coin. I'm going to get a nice trap in there to slow people down down. Boosh. And then this corner path is perfect to go there. Then we're starting the next wave. So it survived everything easily. We've just got this knight dude left and I don't think he can, he can can't even get close. Uh, meanwhile, let's grow the entire aisle. Oh, look at all this space down here now. So then we can wrap around there. Lovely. Bong and arrow tower there. Garden over the edge out the way and a corner in there. Then we're ready for the next round. There's only seven rounds remaining. I feel like the, the path tiles, they almost spell something. Like, sir, gur, nah. Sagun. Anyway, you got another. I tell you what, I might go up there just because it covers so much. I know this side's pretty much fine, but you can never be too careful. We'll have to decide what way to take this path. I'm going to go that way, I think. Oh, and then we have a straight that we need, so that can go... Oh, actually, do I go in that one first? I don't know what one's more dangerous. I'm going to go in this one first just because that extends all the way over to there. We'll start the round. So, oh, it's just a single shield guy on that one. That was not worth it. Let's hope we survive this one. We've got the baldy beardy. Oh, no. I think we're going to lose a life. Oh, we didn't lose a life. That cannonball hit just in time. We've still got 10 lives. And is he going to make it? No. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. Um, ooh. So what do we take here? Bonus cards. Materials, corner path, or the next two tiles will be corner paths. Surely that's better than the middle one, right? I mean, I need straights, but uh, whatever. So we got straight with a flag. Let me just shove that there. And we've got our corner pieces. Do I want to... I don't know what I want to do with it. Why have I got corner pieces? I need straights. Well, I'll shove one there. I'll shove another 
another one there, I guess. Oh, actually, that storehouse, doesn't that want two towers next to it? I could shove that there for two bombs, and I think that gives me two bonus cards. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, and they're straight. So we want a straight there, please. And then we'll just start the wave. So five waves remaining. This one going well over this end of the map. Over this end, also well. Oh, not in the middle, though. I always forget the middle. We lost our life. So middle does need improving. What can we do with this piece? Shove it there. Shove that one there. The flag there. And I can't really do anything in these corners. I'm just trying to get rid of them. Oh, man. A geyser towel would work perfectly in there. I don't have any bombs left. I'm an idiot. Oh, why did I use my bombs up? I mean, I guess I'll go there for now. We'll start the round. We've got to... I think we've just got to keep an eye on this middle one. Have we made it stronger? Hopefully. There is a shield guy, but there's no baldies. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Ooh, cheeky. Uh, so I can't actually get over to that because obviously I can only build next to my stuff. Um, but I definitely do want to get over there. So let's place that there. Shove an ice trap in that corner. Crazy path there. Use the flag to help us get over. Oh, and then we finally got the straight path that we needed. So that can go there. Lovely. Oh, then the next tower is called a loop tower. A burning orb loops around this tower in clockwise motion and damages enemies in its path. Okay, that probably wants to go like in the middle of a corner. I have no bombs. So let's just start the next wave and hope we can somehow get one. I oh, know the middle should be fine now because we've extended that path really, really far. Although that axe man is going for it. No, he took a heart out of us. So whilst it's a longer path, there's, we need more we need more towers to do damage. Ah, uh, this one, this one, this one. Oh, we lost another one. Oh, this is not good. So the S and the G, they both need they both need more towers. Uh, let's grab the loop tower. I'll tell you what, that fits perfectly in there. So we'll place that. We'll then spend some coins trying to get over to that chest as well as extending that path. Oh, and would you look at that? We have another cluster tower. So do we go there? That's three hits and it makes that one do more damage. Oh, I was going to say, or I could go up there, but uh, we need a bomb to place that. We don't have one. So, yep, let's just shove it there. It will hit where they spawn on that one as well. We'll start the next round. Round 38. I may as well spend all my coins next time. It stops at round 40. And we need some towers up this end as well, by the way. It's a long path, but not doing a lot. Middle axe guy. Oh, we lost a life in the middle. That side, we're fine. On the left, I think we should be fine. Man, look at that tower. The, the loop tower. I uh, assume that did a lot of damage. So decent. Oh, we got some bonus cards. You can set everything to five so I can lose all my coins but gain some bombs. Nah, I don't think so. Next two tiles will be corner paths. Yeah, go on then. I know what to do with them. Alright, workshop. May as well just use that to get closer to the treasure chest. Corners, I want to do that one and then that one. I'm going to shove an ice trap in there then get the chest with the garden. Oh, it just gave us four bridges. I don't want bridges. I want bombs. I got no bombs. Uh, arrow tower there. Big corner there. Ready to get a little corner in that bit. Uh, oh, we have an arrow tower that has nothing. So that can go in a little gap if we have one. I mean, if I had a bomb, I could shove it on that flag. Say what, I'm going to start the next wave and I'll hope that we can get a bomb at the end of this. Maybe we'll go to the black market or something. Yeah, I got to make sure six people don't make it through though. And that axe guy is legging it. Take him down. Oh, that was close. That was actually close. Yeah, everything else covered. Bottom left. Yep, that we should be fine. So it's the final wave. I guess Arrow Tower will shove you. Oh, that might be worth doing, actually. That's five hits. Yeah. Aha, we've got the corner that we need. So by doing that, we've extended this to, oh man, to be absolutely mullered by the cluster tower on the high ground. So yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage. So I think middle is fine now. Yeah, we've got a fire trap. May as well shove that I think in the corner like that is good. Got an arrow tower. I think three hits there will be good. Oh, and then we got another fire blast tower. Okay, where can we put this? I mean, I can't see us doing more than that. That is eight tiles of damage. Yeah, and the right one is a bit is a bit dodgy, I guess. So I'm going to place that there. May as well try and use my bridges up. Uh, ice trap there just so that that fire blast is doing some good damage. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to the to the, to the gem. So I'll just go in the middle. Straight bit of path. Bridging over the edge. And my final two coins are going on an arrow tower. And I'm going to put that all on a bridge because I've got seven bridges left. I mean, we're, we're bridging water, apparently. I mean, actually looking at it, I'd probably just call it a waterfall. But uh, I'm not here to argue. Let's start the final wave. So down here, the cluster towers are doing some major damage in the middle. These guys are ruined. Up here, the fire blast. That's the only guy remaining on the right. Oh, he's getting quite far. No, he's 
got no health. That's good. That is good. Middle tower. We're nearly done. Just a lanky guy. No, he's gone. And then we just got two knights down here. We've already lost half their health. I mean, Mon's lost his entire life. And there we go. We've completed. You defended the aisle. Oh, and look at the sound of that bonus card. Placing any tower next to a flag. Transform the tower into a cluster tower. I love cluster towers. Ooh, and the hall of flames. Anyway, enough flames. We're back in the mountains where I'm going to say peace, love, and snow. Bye, guys.